Hey guys, Diecast Construction Expert here to give you another one of my overhyped and under delivering reviews. Uh, today we've got the 150th scale Sword uh, Peterbilt 357 with the East Dump trailer in 150th scale. Uh, there's been, you know, one or two reviews from Sal and some of the other guys that have done this review, so I'm not going to get too terribly deep into the model itself. Um, but I will give you a overview of the truck a little bit and the trailer and uh, you know kind of give you all uh, basically the basics on everything that uh, this model has to offer so no further ado we'll go ahead and get on with the review alrighty guys so moving on with the review uh, here is the tractor portion of the uh, tractor trailer combo uh, like I said earlier it's the uh, Peterbilt 357 and uh, go ahead and start off by showing you all the uh, the opening hood which does open up a lot further than most models will which is nice uh, on the inside let's see if we can get some zoomage in on here there we go we've got a pretty pretty nicely detailed engine here uh, you know pretty much all of the models have essentially the same looking engine block and uh, everything like that so it's not too terribly different from anything that you've probably already seen before um, as you can see right here, the, uh, the uh, back portion of the hood also does have the uh, tire flaps attached to it there. Um, nice grill detail. Sorry, I'm going to try to get this in the right. There we go. Nice, Pretty nice uh, grill detail along with the, uh, the Peterbilt logo and the headlights and everything. Um, of course, the, uh, the tires do turn. They click for every position. Uh, there's only really only right and then straight and then sort of left it doesn't work great but it works um, as we can see over on this side the door does uh, open and close it is a little on the fragile feeling side so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that back up for now um, here on the uh, step uh, uh, steps here we've got nice etched in uh, detail on that to give it a little bit more of a grippy texture to make it look more realistic um, Moving along to the back here, it should, I feel like, have a headache rack on it, but I didn't get one that came with it, uh, no big deal or anything, but uh, it does appear to have two holes here where one would be mounted, uh, and on most sword models you get these uh, really, really nice uh, brake and uh, electric and air lines and everything here, uh, I said brake, air, same thing, um, but as always that's another very nice feature for them to have added to the model and uh, looking uh, let's see if we can screw this up a little uh, looking to the rear here and to the uh, the uh, second from the rear axle we've got some mud flaps there which are a very very nice addition for sure um, the fifth wheel does slide forwards and backwards it is a little sticky from time to time but it will move I'm not gonna move it for now just because I don't want to break anything on camera that would be embarrassing I've already done that once in a review um, more along to the rear here, we can see uh, the Peterbilt uh, mud flaps there looking good. And uh, that's pretty much going to do it for the tractor. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over on its side here, real quick. And it's not too terribly detailed on the underside, it is, but uh, you know, it's, it's more or less, you know, just for looks, really. Uh, it, it appears that there's some sort of suspension here, which there is, but uh, let's see if I can. You can't even really see it on the camera, but uh, it does have a little bit of suspension there. And uh, that's pretty much going to do it for uh, this model. Also, I didn't quite cover. We got the, uh, the horns and everything on top here, along with the chrome visor. And uh, on the passenger side, we've got just the single stack there. So, uh, you know, it would be nice to have double stacks and the headache rack and all that good stuff. But for what it is, this model uh, is very very nice one of my more favorite truck models that I've got at this point um, other than my uh, fuel lube truck and they all really I like all of them but uh, this one definitely uh, definitely stands out a little bit from the rest uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to the trailer portion of the review alright so I'm gonna try not to spend too terribly much time on this portion uh, just because it is a pretty simple uh, concept to grasp here, it is a trailer that dumps, as you all already know. 
Uh, one very nice thing, I will go ahead and start off the you know this portion of the review by saying this tarp right here uh, does function. I'll go ahead and lower it all the way down for you. But you can see that folds all the way down, which is really, really nice. And let's see here. On the underside, the outriggers, they unscrew to make them taller or shorter. Um, let's see, moving around to the rear here. We've got a Sorry about that, I had a little interruption there, but uh, anyways, you see this little uh, door here opens and closes, there is a latch there, uh, but it is on the little bit of the fragile side, so I wouldn't mess with that if I were you. Uh, both of these open here to let the door open and dump, and then you can close this one over here, and the door would also open this way, which is sweet. And I'm going to go ahead and show you all the dump height of it, and that's going to wrap up the review for today. I also wanted to show you guys this. It's got uh, the Mountain Tarp logo and number on there, along with the East Dump logo. And a little spade there for cleaning out the back of the trailer whenever uh, the time comes. And a little bit of a warning decal there, which I honestly didn't even know that any of this was here until just now. So, uh... You can see how much I've been really looking at this thing. But uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and show you all the dump height real quick. This is going to be a little different. I'm going to have to pick up the camera at a point here. But let me just go ahead and get it up. I'm going to uh, let that out. And there it is. Uh, that's a lot better dump height than a lot of dump trucks out there. It's not uh, the realest uh, dump height I've ever seen. But... Uh, that's just me. I see these trailers on a daily basis, so I, I'm not going to judge it too hard. Uh, also, before uh, I let you all go, I wanted to point out, uh, I'm sure you already noticed, but the DOT striping here, which is really, really sick, definitely helps add to the realism of the model for sure. And also, I'm going to show you from this, yeah, I'll show you from this way. There's also some uh, wires that run from the, uh, the hitch all the way back to the end of the dump trailer there for the brakes and lights and everything like that. Um, and one last little tidbit, I'm just going to show you for the uh, poops and grins for all you younger viewers out there. These, uh, these wooden, oops, these wooden, uh, come on now, there, uh, whatever, these wooden uh, little side uh, panels here, they do come out, not that you would really ever take them out, but uh, definitely nice to know that they added that with the model for sure, it definitely helps uh, add to the realism. Uh, and I guess uh, for closing, I'm just going to put the tractor back together with the trailer and kind of give you all like a little 360, uh, you know, pan around real quick. Here we go. You just won five hundred dollars. All right, everybody. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I just got rained on by some cash, and uh, as always, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Diecast Construction Expert. Thanks a bunch, everybody. Have a good day.